This is Kevin Bidwell and today I want to give you a tutorial on how to create a form or a payment button or whatever you want to create that doesn't appear instantly but appears maybe after a video has played or or after people have had time to be on your website. I use this a couple different ways. One way I use it is when I have a squeeze page, which is what you're looking at right now, so is a squeeze page that's a video squeeze page and maybe I don't want the sign-up form to show up immediately. I want it to show up after, you know, when if, if I play this, you can get up to about uh, a minute and 45 seconds, somewhere around here, um, you would see that there is a, um, there's a little thing that says sign up on the right now. And I want the form maybe to show up at that time, not when somebody first gets to the page. So I've created an easy way to do that. People think it's hard. People think it takes, uh, you got to hire a programmer or you got to buy some expensive program to, to make that happen. You don't. I've, I've given you everything you need right in this forum post. Uh, there's an attachment that'll, that'll give you everything you need. So just watch this video and then you should be able to, in just a couple minutes, be able to take a, a page that you've already created, a squeeze page or a payment page or whatever, and make that, that delayed form show up or that delayed payment button show up. Uh, whatever you want to do. One of the ways I use this is delay payment buttons, but I also use it like on a one-time offer page because sometimes people, when they go to a one-time offer page, don't even bother to read it. They just scroll down to the bottom looking for whatever the link is to get off the page. So sometimes I'll delay a one-time offer uh, link just a little bit, you know, 60 seconds, 90 seconds. So they kind of have to stay there for a couple minutes and, and figure out, you know, figure out what's going on. You may want to use it all kinds of different ways. So, so here is how you do it. It's, it's not as hard as you might, it's not as hard as you might think. So here I have a, a web page that is, um, that is just designed to, um, to capture email addresses. So you got the video over here and you got the sign up form over here. Now what I want to do is I want to create it so that when the video gets to a certain place, and again, it's, in this particular video, it's a, at a minute and 45 seconds. I want this form to show up. But before that, I don't want the form to show up. I just want the video without the form. So here's, here's how you do that. The first thing you do is you go find your, um, find your web page. In this case, this is, this is the web page on my, uh, on my, uh, in my computer. And I, I use Chrome, so that's the uh, Chrome emblem there. You might use Internet Explorer or Firefox, but, but basically it's just the, the web page. I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to open it with Notepad. So it's now open with Notepad and, and this is the guts of the page. This is just the code that creates that page. This is a very simple page. Now, so I've, I've got that open. The next thing I'm going to do is open up the magic button, magic appearing button uh, text file that's that's attached to the um, that's attached to this forum post here at Warrior Forum. So you can uh, you can use this. It's you just have to download this yourself and use it. Now this, I want to go step one. I want to paste the following code just before the closing head tag on my web page. Okay, so when I look back at my web page, okay, HTML. Then I've got, oh, I've got a head tag, but wait a minute, that's not the closing head tag, that's the open head tag. Then I got the, the title tag, this is just a little test. And then, oh, okay, here it is. Here is the closing head tag. Now, there may be a lot of other codes right up here. Uh, if, you're, if you're using, you know, a, a page that has a lot more bulk to it, has a lot more stuff on it, that's okay. Just find the closing head tag, the one with the backward slash head on it right there. Okay, find that. Now, what we want to do is we want to take this, this code. It says paste the following code just before the closing head tag. Okay, so I want to take this code and I want to paste it in. Let me, let me select all the code. Now, it's not the whole page. We're going to go start here. And then if you, you, it kind of goes off the part I'm filming here. But if you scroll down, it says end paste here. Okay, so I want to highlight that. I want to right click on it. Do copy. And then... I want to go over here and I want to come up here at just above that head tag and I want to right click again and paste. Okay, so what I did was I just pasted all that code 
right before that closing head tag. I haven't made any changes to the code. Now, when you look at this code, don't worry about understanding what it does. You don't need to understand what it does. There's only one thing you need to do, and that is this line right here. And the description of what you need to do is, is right above that. Change the seconds delay below to the number of seconds you want to appear before your links appear. So in my case, I said I wanted it a minute and 45 seconds. So a minute and 45 seconds is 60 seconds plus 45 seconds, so that's 105 seconds. So if I wanted it to, to wait 105 seconds before it appeared, I would just enter 105 in there, and then I would save it, and, and that would give me a 105 second delay before that form appears. But I don't want to wait 105 seconds on this video because it, it would take forever. You'd be sitting there watching it, watching it, watching it. You know, you don't want to do that. So let's just make this real short. For demonstration purposes, let's just make it 15 seconds. So we're just going to use 15 seconds there. Okay? So that's step one. Real easy. You just paste it in. You change the seconds delay to what you want it to be. Okay, now let's look at step two. Step two is even easier. Okay, well, I'm going to move it around so you can see it. Okay, step two. Paste this code just before the link or form you want to magically appear. Okay, so here is the, here is the part I want to, want to copy and paste. So let me highlight that. Let's do a copy. Okay, now let's go back over to our, our form here. Or I mean our squeeze page here. Now, as we go down in here, there's a lot of stuff, stuff all over. Here's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for, in this case, I use Aweber. And by the way, I recommend Aweber to everybody. You should try Aweber if you're not using it. Um, anyway, so, so here is, he, I'm looking for the Aweber form that creates that, that part, of the, part of the squeeze page, this part right here. I'm just looking for that Aweber form that, uh, that does that. Now I have to get back here to... There we go. Um, I'm looking for that part of the, Well, here it is, okay? As I go down, don't have to worry about any of this stuff. Finally get down here where it says script type equals text equals JavaScript source, Aweber form, blah, 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 blah. Okay? Now, going back to our magic button, it says paste this code just before the link or form you want to magically appear. So after, after my 15 second delay, um, I want this form to appear. So I'm going to go right before that. Let me just space it out here a little bit for you. And I'm just going to, again, I'm just going to paste. Do a right click and paste. So you can see how that came in there. Let's go ahead and save that. Okay. Now let's look at step three. Step three says paste this just after the linker form you want to magically appear. So let's highlight this little this little div tag, closing div tag, for those of you who know what that is. And let's go to the end of it here, just after that script thing, and let's paste it in there. Okay, now let's save that. Oops, let's try that again. Save that. Okay, now what we've done is we've made changes to this page. Now, I, I, I ultimately I wanted to use 105 seconds, but we're just using 15 seconds delay to show you again what uh, what's going on here so let's uh, let's go look at our let's look at our squeeze page again and let me just hit a quick refresh okay now if you look the form is not there just keep waiting in 15 seconds total it'll pop up if I did everything right 15 seconds <laughs> there it is I told you you didn't want to wait a minute and 45 seconds for that. So now you can do that. Now you can do that with a button. You just have to put the button inside those two little, those two little div tags. You could do it with anything you want on a web page. You can have a paragraph appear later. You can do anything you want. So this allows you to do that little fancy little thing. It takes you five or ten minutes to set up, and it's no big deal. Uh, so enjoy that. Use it. Uh, have fun with it.